everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Today I'm going to do the Jaclyn Hill Ride or Die tag. Now Jaclyn put out this tag a few weeks ago. I feel like I'm the last one to do it. Sorry I'm so late. I've spent the last two weeks getting my two daughters ready to go off to college and then taking them there and then settling them in. So it's been a crazy couple of weeks, but I am back. I am now an empty nester, so I will have plenty of time to devote to doing YouTube videos. So I wanted to thank Jaclyn for creating the tag and for tagging everyone to do it. I was tagged specifically by a couple of other YouTubers. And so thanks you guys if you tag me for tagging me as well and of course I tag everybody but I think I'm the last one to do this so if you haven't done it yet and you still want to play along feel free to play along now the point of this tag um, as Jacqueline created it was to pick your ride or die makeup your all-time favorites the things that as she said if you were stranded on a desert island you would take with you and you can only pick one from each category now I gotta say this desert island must have a nightclub on it because with the amount of makeup we're all taking with us to a desert island it's kind of crazy <laughs> I am going to deviate from the list a little bit on a couple of things and I'll tell you which ones they were because there are some things that I feel like she forgot to put on here that are things that I never leave the house without so it had to be on here. Um, and then there were some things that were on here that I don't really use. So, Alright, so the first category is primer. I had a hard time picking a primer because I use different primers depending on what makeup I'm wearing, what sunscreen I'm wearing, how well they play together, what I want my primer to do for me that day. But the primer that I use almost every day is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. This is the primer that helps my Holy Grail sunscreen and my Holy Grail foundation play well together. It does enhance the wear of your foundation. It does smooth pores a little bit. And the main thing that I do like about it, especially for older skin, is that it's not drying. You can put it on under anything and you it doesn't suck the moisture out of your skin like some primers do. The other thing that I love about it is it's not going to change the finish of your foundation. So some primers are really trying to give you a super luminous look. Some are trying to mattify you. This is just straight basic primer. It's like real basic, but I love it for that. Now I wanted to add in an eyelid primer because I think when you're older, an eyelid primer is so important and it's one thing that I use every day no matter what. Even if I'm not doing a full face of makeup and just putting on the tiniest bit of eyeshadow, I'll always use an eyelid primer. Um, it helps the eyeshadow to not crease and to last longer, especially where we have crepiness and um, sagginess going on in our eyelids. I was searching for a eyelid primer that actually helped to smooth the eyelids and I actually found one. It doesn't make my eyelids look worse than they are. It doesn't make my crepiness look worse. It makes my eyeshadow wear all day, all night, forever. I would never have to change my eyeshadow on the desert island. And so that product is the Tarte Clean Slate 360 Degree Creaseless 12 Hour Smoothing Eye Primer. So you get a ton in here. It lasts forever. You only need like the tiniest little dot and you just spread it on your eyelids and it makes everything perfect up there. Smoothing, um, smooths over the crepiness, non-drying, doesn't make your eyelids look worse than they are. So absolutely a holy grail product that I've been using for years. Okay, on to the foundation. Those of you who <laughs> watch me and watch my uh, Foundation Friday series know that I am on the hunt for a holy grail. Of all the foundations I've tried, I've only found one holy grail. Now, I have super high standards for, for foundation. Holy grail for me is that it fulfills everything that I want it to do. And so that's why there's only one, and that one is the Chanel Perfection Lumiere Velvet Foundation. I wear this in beige 30, and I just think that this is the perfect foundation for me. It might not be the perfect foundation for people with slightly drier skin. It really is made for normal to oily skin. So if you're older and you still have oily skin like I do, this is like the perfect foundation. You can apply it with your fingers. It spreads smoothly and evenly. It's very smoothing on the pores and the wrinkles. It gives, it has the perfect um, skin-like finish, you know, it's not trying to be luminous and dewy, it's actually trying to be more on the matte and velvet side, but it's not a flat matte. Um, it's just it's just beautiful. You have to try it. It just does everything I want it to do and then some. It's long wearing. You don't have to worry about it um, looking awful or settling into your pores or settling into your wrinkles. It doesn't do any of that stuff. So it's wonderful for mature skin. So that is the foundation. All right, on to the concealer. I've been using two interchangeably for a while now. and People keep asking me which one I like the best and I'm going to go, I'm going to 
do it here today. I'm going to throw down the gauntlet and say I've chosen which one is better for mature skin, for my mature skin, and that is the Lancome Effacerin Waterproof Long Lasting Under Eye Concealer. This one didn't dry out my under eye area later in the day, and unfortunately the Naked Skin one did do that a little. This one is the more moisturizing formula. It's the uh, formula that will hide more, so if you do have under eye darkness, this is the one that will hide more. It goes on smooth, it's not scaly. It comes in a good range of colors from pretty dark to very, very light. It is so concentrated with the pigments, you can apply it very, very sparingly, very light, and you still get a nice amount of coverage. It's waterproof, so it doesn't make my mascara or my eyeliner smudge ever. So all in all, this is the one that I think is, you know, if I could only take one, this is the one that I would take. Okay, moving on to face powder. My holy grail, all-time favorite face powder is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores HD Powder. This is the loose powder. I also have it in the, oops, in the press powder. I did a tutorial with the press last week on baking to uh, disguise the pores and people were asking me which one is better for that. I gotta say I like this one a little bit better for baking. But overall the one that I do use every day, because I don't bake every day, who bakes every day? <laughs> you know, cookies or your face. Um, the one that I use every day is the loose powder. I really love this one just for taking a little bit on a light fluffy brush and setting that under eye concealer and just mattifying a few places on my face where I need to mattify. It's very light, it's translucent so you don't see it. I think that it mattifies and keeps my skin looking the best the longest. I put it on once in the morning and I'm good to go for the rest of the day. So that's why that one is my holy grail face powder. So then she had a separate category for under eye setting powder. I use this for both. All right, so the next category is blush. My all time holy grail blush that I use more than any other blush in my blush collection is the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Radiance Ombre Blush in Je Ne Sais Quoi. The ombre goes from matte to shimmer. So depending on what kind of blush you want, this gives you everything in one little palette. So you don't really necessarily have to buy a separate cheek highlighter if you don't want to. So that's my favorite blush, mainly because it's so versatile. It's also a beautiful color. It wears well. Oh, and if I didn't mention it before, I'm wearing all these products today. So this is the look that these products made. All right, so then after that was bronzer and I'm not really big on the powder bronzers. I'm not really big on bronzing per se. I'm more into contouring and for contouring I like a cream contour. And so my holy grail cream contour product is the NYX Wonder Stick. The highlight and contour stick in the color Universal. So this is a dual ended stick. One end has the brown cream uh, contour for doing your dark and then the other end has a cream highlighter. That's a great product, it's five bucks, super inexpensive, so easy to use, blends so easy, you can put it exactly where you want it, and the highlighter on it is awesome as well. So that brings us into the next category, which of course is highlighter, and so this is my um, contour highlight holy grail is this NYX Wonder Stick. So this is a highlighter that I use today. I just draw it on and then rub it in. Then she had mascara on the list. And this is where I think she left off a couple of categories. I would like to see eyeliner in here and eyebrows in here, especially for mature women because I know a lot of us mature people have a hard time with our brows becoming sparse as we get older. So let me start with the brow kit. My holy grail brow product is the Too Faced Brow Envy Brow Shaping and Defining Kit. I just tried this in a Try It Tuesday maybe a month and a half ago, and oh my God, am I in love with this thing. This has made doing my brows so easy. It's unbelievable, and they are just looking great every day. So whether you have sparse brows or full brows, there will be a stencil in here that will fit your brow shape, and that can help you to figure out your brow shape if you you know, are wearing a brow still from the 80s and you like to have more of a modern brow, this can help you figure out a new brow shape. You just line that up over your brow. Use a fluffy brush to kind of press the powder in there. So then you have that beautiful, perfect, Instagram ready, on fleek brow that is just great. This makes it so easy. I've never had such an easy time with my brows. Takes all the guesswork out of it. Love it. 
Eyeliner was the other thing I wanted to talk about. And for my Holy Grail eyeliners, I'm going to go with the Sephora Contour Eye Pencil 12 Hour Wear Waterproof. These are 10 bucks a piece at Sephora. It's the Sephora brand. It comes in a huge range of colors. I have at least five of these. The ones that I'm wearing today, this one is called Tiramisu. It's a dark, dark brown. And then on my lower lid, I'm wearing this one that's called Blonde Ambition. But I also have Flirting Game, that's like a metallic-y taupe. This one is called Fifth Avenue. Look how tiny it is. <laughs> it's a matte gray. I also have it in a color called Starry Sky, which is a like gunmetal metallic gray. These are just so creamy. It's easy to draw on a nice clean line. It's easy to sharpen them. And then if your line gets messed up along the way, then you can smudge it because they stay workable for a little while. But then once they're set, they are set waterproof, not going anywhere, staying on all day long. So as you can see, <laughs> I really love these. All right, so on to mascara. I had a really hard time picking in this one as well because I've just found a new mascara that I'm absolutely in love with, and that is the Hourglass Film Noir Mascara. This is a great mascara, I think, for every day. A lot of the mascaras are trying to give you like a big bold false eyelash look and if that's the look you're looking for then absolutely hands down the holy grail for that big clubbing lashes since there's a club on this desert island is a combination by Lancome it's the Lancome Sil Booster with the Lancome Hypnose Drama that will give you like the biggest lashes practically fake lash eyelash look but for an everyday holy grail where you want to have more natural looking lashes, this just gives the most beautiful natural looking lashes. I'm wearing it today. They are long, they're luscious, they're separated. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't flake, it doesn't chip, and that's without using any kind of lash primer under it on its own. You don't have to add another $25 product to get this to work. I'm going to stick with eye products for just a second and go with the eyeshadow palette, the one that I take when I travel, the one that I use every day, and that is the MAC X15 Nordstrom Now Edit Eyeshadow Palette. What I love about it is that it has everything that you need and at a great price point. This is $65 for this palette. Buying these separately, they are $20 I think 18 or 22 dollars a piece and there are 15 shades in here and the beautiful part about this is that it has a whole range of mattes shimmers lights darks mediums but the thing that's lacking in most palettes for me is a matte medium neutral blending color and this has a number of them for me to choose from so i can use this warm fawny color i can use this beautiful matte taupe i can go with this almost olive green color. So I can even use this mid-tone matte gray here. This gives you such a range of them that you can create any look you want. You can go in a warm direction, you know, using these guys. You can go in a really cool direction go using these guys. So versatile for everyday use. It is the bomb. All right, so then from there she went into lip products where she had lipstick, liquid lipstick, and gloss. I'm just going to go with lip liner and lipstick. So my favorite lip liner is Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner. It is a drugstore product. It is the best lip liner I have ever tried. I have it in two shades. I like East End Snob and I also like the color Pure. It's like a little mechanical pencil. You get a lot of product in here. It's creamy. It doesn't dry out your lips. That's the main thing. Most of the other lip liners I've tried really dry out my lips, and I really don't like that because, you know, if, if they're dry with us having the little wrinkles here, um, it really accentuates those wrinkles. And it's so long wearing, unbelievably long wear out of this for a drugstore product. So love this. Then the lipstick that I usually wear over it is my all time favorite lipstick. It's the Too Faced La Creme lipstick. So I have five here in my filming setup that I rotate through when I'm filming. And then I have another two in my purse. So I own seven of these and I bought them all. Uh, Too Faced didn't send me a single one of these. And that shows you how much I love them. I did get a couple of them at Nordstrom Rack and I think I still see them there on occasion for like $8. The finish is not too shiny. It's not too matte. The matte lipsticks really, oh, I try to make them work, 
but they just feel too drying. I feel like they make my lips look too dry. The glossy lipsticks, again, accentuating the wrinkles and whatnot. So these are just the perfect finish. They're not too matte, they're not too shiny, they're creamy, they go on easily, and they never dry out my lips either. And the, <laughs> having things that dry out my lips really bugs me, so I don't use anything that dries out my lips. So that's why these are the Holy Grail lipsticks. Then was setting spray. So my Holy Grail setting spray is the e.l.f. Mist and Set. This is the only setting spray that I'll use currently because it's the only one I've found that doesn't have SD alcohol, denatured alcohol, uh, as like the first or second ingredient. Most of the setting sprays are 95% alcohol, and at my age, I am not spraying alcohol directly onto my face. It's just too drying. Um, you know, I know that a lot of it does evaporate, and you have a layer of makeup between you and it, but it's still a deal breaker for me. This has no alcohol. It contains aloe, green tea, cucumber, and vitamins A, C, and E. So it's not gonna do any damage to my skin if it actually, you know, somehow manages to penetrate this huge face of makeup I have on. But it does set my makeup. It does help it to last all day. So that one I love, and it's an e.l.f. product, so it's like, $3. So the last item on Jacqueline's list is perfume. I don't really wear fragrance, so I have nothing to contribute there. So I guess that's where I come to the end of the tag. I had a great time picking my Holy Grail products, showing them to you, and I hope that if you're looking for something uh, in one of these categories as a Holy Grail that you'll give one of these a try. And if you have tried things based on my recommendations and there's something that I find to be Holy Grail and you loved it too, I'd love to hear that. So leave me a comment below and let me know. I love to hear that kind of feedback to know that you know the things that I'm recommending really are working for other people and not just for me. Right? <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody. You know I really appreciate your time and so I will see you next time. So take care. Bye-bye.